Hello, Senior Stoner fan. Just a real Senior Stoner back at you for your Magna Carta dab of the day. Today is Saturday. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Today's topic is going to sound a little counterintuitive. Bear with me. Embrace failure. I know it sounds counterintuitive. But if you were a professional sports player, professional athlete, or a Navy SEAL, or an Army Ranger, they call it fail forward fast. Essentially what happened, and I think it's happening to me with pain, essentially what happens is you're moving forward in spite of the chaotic conditions around you. And in spite sometimes of the risk. Because what happens always is with risk, there's reward. Well, you see the good news. There's good news about embracing failure. The good news is that failure in our world is no longer shameful. Think about it. Think about failing. Let me give you my own example. Because my father was an A-personality asshole, Harvard graduate, hyper-intellect, I was pushed to be that way, and I wasn't that way. So I failed continuously. But what no one knew is I had another thing I was good at. They would just wouldn't let me do it. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens is, Historically, people, parents, even relatives and friends, particularly bosses, things like that, would shame you, shame you for not succeeding. Well, think about this one. Think about this one. Right now, it's almost commonplace, commonplace for an individual to either lose a job shut a business, go bankrupt personally or professionally, lose their home, think about it. So what do you do? Do you run and say, oh my God, if anything like these ever happened, I am a lousy person. I am horrible. No, that's incorrect thinking. With the business and professional things out there that are happening, that are changing so quickly. It is like quicksand. So failing forward fast is more important than ever because what happens is we're all vulnerable to it. We're all gonna get a taste of it and we all have to know how to move forward. So let's think about it. You deliberately break something, better yet, you make yourself have the condition before you go to the doctor. So when you go to the doctor, you have a condition. I know it sounds a little strange, but if you welcome failure, shift your perspective and welcome it. Understand it that people sometimes are flawed. You'll be okay. And I'll tell you why. Because having a failure under your belt in anything is like the first kiss. It's got to happen. Human, we're flawed. You've got to have a failure. You've got to have something happen that you can say, I'm sorry, I'll do better. No one is perfect. You see, being prepared, being prepared for the blowback being prepared for the loss, being prepared for what we talked about is critical because what you're really doing is you're eliminating the threat. You're eliminating the threat of what failure can do. Think about it. The way to get a shark to kill a shark, they will all tell you in an emergency situation or get it to go away, I should say, is to hit it in the nose. That's really scary. Hit it in the nose, head on. Well, that's how you have to attack 
failure and the potential of failure. Did you ever get a bad grade on a test in school? Almost everyone did. Did you ever get criticized that you weren't doing something the right way by a coach? Almost everyone did. Look at golf. It's a game of millimeters, of one degree. You change things because it's 300 yards away and everything gets messed up. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's about embracing our uniqueness and our flawed human spirit. And it's about embracing that life is full of quicksand. And it's about embracing that you're going to get up the next day and do it again and be okay, even if you fail today. Let's take our dab and try to keep our heads on our shoulders because I see this with people I know. This is a bad time out there. If you are not conditioned for failure, and it happens, and it's happening, it can be a very desperate situation. So please, please, everyone, think about what I've said here today. This is critical because you do not need to go and do a walk of shame for yourself. Shame yourself because you failed at something, because you lost money, because your house was repossessed, because you're unemployed. Look around you. You didn't cause any of that. The key to all of these types of things is how we recognize what's happened and how we persevere through. Cheers, everybody. And have a great Saturday. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Pardon me. <coughs> Have a great day, everybody.